another relaxing shave video or as I'm gonna call it the shave that never was because I recorded a video and I forgot to switch the camera view around to the rear camera and it recorded the mirror which in turn recorded me so <sighs> alas the shave did not get uploaded but I'm going to repeat that shave and hopefully it'll be just as good as a shave that I had that never was. So, <laughs> the razor that we are going to be using is one that I haven't used in a minute. It's the Ever Ready. It's picking that up. Uh, new and improved 1912. Uh, this is American Safety Razor Manufacturer, uh, which later became the Micromatics. So that's the razor we're going to be using and the blade that we're going to be using is the Jim Personas or as I like to call them the Jim Reds uh, single edge of course so razor and blade and we're going to load it and like I've said before it's got two little stops at the end you line the blade up with those stops just like that little pins and you just clamp it down and uh there you go. Look at that blade. Look at that exposure. It looks aggressive, but it is not. Very, very fine razor. And the soap we are going to be using, and I said this on the other video. <laughs> I can't say it now because I have used it. It is the Clubman by, uh, oh shoot, Panod. Uh, good soap. Good quality. Slickness. Good. The scent. It doesn't smell like the aftershave, but it's still a pleasant scent. So, just sprinkling some water because it is a hard soap. And the brush we are going to be using, it's been soaking, is the same brush I used for the previous shave, which is the Samoog 830. It's the bore brush. So, let's load. Uh... I want to give a um, I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, to Sig Sig Solo and his channel. Uh, he just reached 100 subscribers, so hey, good on you, Sig. You deserve it, man. Great dude. So congratulations to Sig. And to anybody that's been affected by the uh, winter apocalypse, uh, I hope you're well. For, you know, I know uh, I got a buddy of mine that lives in Texas, and uh, luckily they never lost power or anything, but and they had it rough out there. So, you know, I'm thinking about you, brothers. I got a buddy of mine that lives in Arkansas and you know, couldn't even leave his house. He had to get a ride to work because his road's so bad, and he doesn't have a four wheel drive vehicle, so having to dig himself out of ice. All right, there we go. That's the load we're gonna use. Hopefully uh, that's suffice. We shall see. Uh, put the remaining on the face, why not? Good stuff, like I said, it smells good. Uh, I like the scent of it. Uh, it does not smell like the, uh, it does not smell like the aftershave, but I will tell you because I have used it. Uh, it's a good soap, man. I see. Nothing wrong with it. Works great. Nice clean scent. It's kind of like Arco. Just real clean, clean scent. So let me take these off so I can be blind. All right, let's lather up. Why not? Man, that shave, that first shave with this stuff was so good and so smooth. Wow. Let's hope we get a repeat, huh? Dip the tips. I can tell you though, I have discovered with these bores, and it works for me really, really well because they hold a lot of moisture in the base of it um, because 
boar hair is thicker than badger hair. And uh, that's the reason why you see a lot of the old brushes, you know, the handles are cracked and stuff. And you think, well, you know, the handle, you piece of crap. No, it's the knot itself. Water gets inside the hair, expands the hair, it cracks the glue, which in turn cracks the knot. They are notorious for holding water. To eliminate that, I choke up on the handle and I squeeze that knot. And uh, you don't have to dip the brush as much. And if there's any water in there that's reserved, it's going to squeeze it out towards the tips. It's been helping me a bunch with my lathering with these uh what? with these bore knots so just a tip you can use it if you want to all right there you go right there look at that I mean whew, look at that that's good stuff so let's proceed indeed with the shave it's warm here today whew. I think it got up to a 70 something. Big change from last week, I can tell you that. All right, here we go. Let's get this first pass. I got about one day's growth on me. I did that, that video um, Sunday. So I got about a day's growth happening here. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm growing back out the goatee. And that's what I did the video on. You know, cutting in, you know, if you have a goatee or something, you want to shave around and cut it in, that's what I did the video on. And <laughs> it's just, oh man stupid but I guess that's why you have to check and make sure before you do anything prior planning man prior planning prevents piss poor performance and I'm gonna tell you what I had some piss poor performance all right let's see let's cut it in right here Probably going to be uneven as hell. It's still at that that stage where you can't really tell exactly what you got, where they are. You know, I don't have super thick facial hair. I like to think that I do, but I don't. It just, you know, so it takes it a minute to fill in. All right, first pass done. I'm trying to uh, trying to get the videos not to be so long, so it won't take so long to to process them and load them up and get them, you know, to y'all. Oh wow! But I like conversing, even if sometimes it feels like it's just me in here talking. That's why I like the comments. It makes me know the people are watching. I like conversing with people, man. All right. And I can tell you, this cold weather has done a number on my skin, man. I've been dealing with some dry skin. So, all right, this is against the grain. So I've been trying to eliminate that, you know. I don't see how you fellas who live in, you know, cold climates year-round, I don't see how y'all do it, man. You know. My hat is off to you. Because I'll take my, you know, take my my 90 degrees with with 100% humidity any day. 
can't see them sideburns that cut them in worth nothing. They ain't thick enough for anything. have to be what it bees. Now maybe I'll uh if I remember to do it if I was a professional I would tell y'all yeah you know while I'm lathering up I'm gonna you know I'm gonna put these clips in here and show you you know the video that I did but I may remember to add those clips right here. I was smart. You just watched some of these clamps. Oh, jeez. Hey, man. None of us are perfect. You know, I just record my videos on a on an old Samsung S7. You know, that's my phone. So that's my camera. I don't have a you know professional you know, system and you know that stuff. Alright. It is what it is. But I enjoy doing them. I like reaching and teaching people, man. So alright, let's feel. I'ma get right here. I shouldn't, but I'm a glutton for punishment. I won't to tackle that because that has got to be my thickest part of my facial hair is right here so let's do a little half pass why not get us feeling sharp hmm? probably messed up though Not see those sideburns at all. Don't you hate that when they're not even? One's longer than the other one. <laughs> and then you're playing into the back and forth game. Wait, well, you know, just a little bit on this side, just a little bit on that side, a little bit on this side. Mm hmm. Before you know it, your sideburns are way up here. I mean, you know, I like lathering on the chin, but I just, I couldn't do it, man. It was too cold on me because I work outside. You know, I'm a land surveyor during the day, so that's my day job, like I like to say. I'm blessed to have a job, I'll tell you that. I know a bunch of people that don't have it, man. So, but it's just too cold on me. Couldn't do it. Cold on my chin. Plus, you know, the missus likes it. So, hey, happy wife, happy life. All right, let's see how much is on this brush that's left. Let's see if it's watery. See, look at that. There's the brush emptied. And normally, you'd have water down up in there, but that's a good lather. For a boar, I feel that's that's a good lather right there. It's good stuff. So try that trick. You squeeze the handle, and uh, I mean, not the handle, but squeeze down on the knot. And it's kind of good if you shave the mustache area to squeeze it. You can kind of get in there, and it won't get up your nose. Just a little trick of the trade there. Alright. Let's do a rinse and uh we're gonna do the post. Because like I said man I've been dealing with some dry skin and I hate it. So I want to eliminate that. Always when it's cold it's not really the cold, it's, it's the dryness 
in the air, you know, less humid. I think as you get older, your body starts to get, you know, conditioned to your environment. So I think that's what it is. Oh man, but beautiful shade, smooth, no nicks, nothing. Let's rock it. Uh, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Shook the camera. I want to show y'all this though. Uh, this is this is Humphrey's old uh, old uh, witch hazel container. Mine's almost gone. This is rose water. This is good stuff, by the way. This is their new one. That's what they look like now. So uh, this is a uh, facial toner uh it's calm and clarifying lavender or whatever that means but there's no reducer on it so is there nope wow finger over the hole come on man <laughs> oh on Mm -hmm. Good stuff. And because it's been really, really dry, we are going to go bomb and then splash. And I have, if I can get it open, I guess that's how it goes. Uh, Lubridum. Maybe the whole thing's in there. This is uh, men's uh, body face and post shave lotion right there. So, probably too much. I am in overindulgence. Oh, yep, a little too much. One pump probably would have been suffice. But, put it everywhere on the face. Oh, yeah. Rinse the hands, of course. Nobody likes lotiony hands. Dry them off. Tell you everything I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay, splash time. Touchdown. Panad Clubman in the glass. Some people say it doesn't matter if it's in glass. Some people say it does. I say whatever you want to do, just do it. I like it in the glass. If it doesn't do anything for the smell, I like the aesthetics of it. So I like doing it. That's what matters. Do what you want to do, man. Whew, man. Mm, yes, sir. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tell you what, that soap, like I said, it doesn't smell like the aftershave. So if you get it, and at least to my nose now, that's that's my nose. Everybody's different, but if you get it, let's see if these things are, I can put them on. Okay, good. Uh, if you get it and you think, wow, you know it's gonna smell just like the aftershave to me, it doesn't, but it performs great, as you see. Great shave, uh, lathered good. I probably could have sat there and just build and build and build and build and build, but to me, it's like a nice clean soap scent, not not unlike Arco. So there you go. There's an airplane going over. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but uh, again, I don't know if anybody watches to the end, but if you do, thank you, appreciate it. Sig, congratulations, man, 100. Uh, Here's to 100 more. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, remember, not every day begins with a shave, but maybe a shave can brighten your day. Take care. I had a couple of, uh, I've seen this old nylon brush. My wife was like, hey, can you put another knot in that and get it? Oh, man. I didn't bother with it either. The handle, man, it looked like it was probably a 16 millimeter knot. It was so 